Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to Let's Play Rise of the Tomb Raider. We've got some tomb raiding to do. My keen powers of detective vision <laughs> have told me that the cave I wanted to explore is over there by that green thing. But first, I actually noticed there's a cave over here that I'm not sure that I've entered yet. And also, I should skin this guy. Because why not? What do we have in here? I think there's still a third... Ooh, there's wolves. Oh, boy. How did that not kill him? I can't see. Okay. Just chased me out of the cave. <laughs> hey, let me skin him. There we go. Okay. Your buddy's still in here, though. Four out of five caves explored. Okay, yeah. So there's still one more cave in this area that I haven't explored yet. Maybe it's the one we're going to clear out. I just wanted to come over here and hit this one before I did that. And let me check the region summary. There's still an optional tomb somewhere in this area. I don't rightly know where. Hello. New document and mural locations. All right, good. I am, like, honestly really digging this game. I don't know if that's been coming through in the videos or not. But, yeah. I am, like... I am really digging this. I think it's very well made. I like all the stuff you can do. The story is pretty good, too, honestly. Which, like, for a Tomb Raider game, the story's never been, like, the strength of it. Uh, but just from what I've seen so far... It seems pretty well written, pretty well acted. And I'm just excited to get further. Okay, we're full up on shrooms. Lara can eat all the shrooms she wants. And also, I think there's like some salvage or something up here. Yeah. Jacob's people were forced to work here. And I also spied a chest up there that probably has like a weapon piece or something in it. What's all that about? Whoop. You've been the first to light a star of progress. Huh. In praise of cosmonauts. Cool. Russian went up a little bit. Okay. I love her English accent, by the way. Progress. It's, it sounds like I'm making fun of it right there. I'm really not. I promise. <laughs> Am I supposed to drop this thing down? Is this like a trap? Or do I get something for knocking it down? Are you kidding me? Alright. I don't rightly understand that. I really believe that shooting... Maybe it's this thing. Fuck. I really thought that shooting this part right here would drop it. Alright, well I've wasted enough ammo on that. Let's grab this guy here. Compound bow part. Oh, good. Need two more. I want all the bow parts. Oh, well, this is going to bother me. Full on arrows, or full on feathers, rather. Let's uh, make up a couple arrows. And now I can take that. Very good. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I didn't mean to drop that far down. <laughs> Lara's okay, though. She can walk it off. She's a tough chick. Okay, what the hell is this? It's like, is it connected to this thing right here? Is that what I get if I figure out how to drop this bitch? Or is this thing the counterweight and I should shoot this? Not sure if my reticule would turn red. 
if it was on the right thing. Maybe I'm supposed to blow this thing up. Maybe that's why there's a tin can sitting right here. Oh, there we go. Okay, here goes nothing. Yep. No good. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back for that. For now, I'm going to head towards the cave. Before I waste literally all of my supplies dicking around. <laughs> I think this cave up here might have been one I was in before, actually, but now we actually have a quest. Okay, apparently that's the type of ammo that I do not need right now. Rifle ammo, maybe. Can I skin these? Alright, not that one, apparently. <laughs> okay, now we know that there's a bunch of wolves in here. I'm gonna get the rifle ready to roll. I was totally in this place before, I think. It looks familiar. Okay, that's where we will emerge. There's a bottle right here that I cannot pick up. That's weird. Why would they go out of their way to model a bottle right there, but not let you interact with it? Hello. Shooting in the dark. Shooting in the dark. Ah. Okay. Oh god, there's a whole shitload of them. Ah! Oh, okay. Fuck. Ah. Running now. Getting the high ground. <laughs> Man, there were more of those fuckers than I thought there would be. <laughs> and now I take my reward. Oh, my skins are full. Damn it. Well, I suppose I should go make something. I don't even really know if I can make anything right now. That sucks. I need to craft an animal skin that lets me carry more animal skins. <laughs> Okay, let's go turn this in. Maybe we'll get something useful for this. This game does a pretty amazing job of like just constantly rewarding you with new stuff. And uh, mission giver, okay. It's also a bunch of things. Strong box, oh there's a relic up there. There's a coin cache over here. I'm gonna mark that. I need as many coin caches as I can get my grubby little mitts on. Because it seems like they come really slowly for how expensive some of that sh uh, the shop items were. Which sucks. Oh, uh, here's the guy. Did you clear out the cave? Is it safe? The cave is clear. If you head there now, you'll be safe. Thank you. Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but... You weren't the one who needed it. Pistol sights, yeah! Awesome. I think he did tell me he was going to give me that. I just forgot. <laughs> Assisting allies will yield beneficial rewards. Cool. Alright, where's that coin cache I marked? Over here. And I really wish that would just stay on my screen. On one hand, it's kind of nice that it doesn't, like, linger there and, like, obscure things. 
But I don't think, like a little blue light that just kind of chills there when you look at it, that wouldn't be so bad. Oh, we got seven coins for that. that I, I think that is actually the most I've ever found at one time. Hey, have I been back here? Creepy. If I've been in this one, I don't remember it. Yeah! Challenge completed! Into darkness. That's awesome. So we have now been inside every cave in this area. A doorway. What else we have in here? Okay, there's some explosive ore here. Did I perchance find the third optional tomb? That would be pretty great. Damn, we're going down here pretty far. <laughs> More coins. I'm finding coins out the ass now. This is great. Supply shack items available. Oh, so it just popped up and told me that I can now afford something at that shack. I think the first thing I wanted to get was the thing that gives you more crafting items. I think that was pretty expensive. There's a sarcophagus. Damien, the Prophet's Forge. Alright, we're getting that Greek skill up pretty high. Okay, where the hell am I going? Am I supposed to be able to reach this sarcophagus from back here? I better check before I move on. Nope. Laura does not possess the ups. Let's make it over that little rock wall. Okay, up there's a ledge. I'm not convinced I can make that jump from here, though. Well, we'll try it. I don't see anywhere else to try. Yep. Okay. Cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material, and there must be someone who knows how to build. Damien was that man. They say he could muster brick from nothing more than a handful of dirt and a tinderbox. They say his craftsmanship was divinely inspired. It is his hand that gave form to the architect's dreams. Hold on. Building a city like... Tej would take many skills and talents. The prophet lauded every contribution. So Damien, they said Damien was the name of the prophet, right? So he was a craftsman who helped them build things, apparently. Okay. I was wondering when we were going to learn more about that guy. I wonder if you ever have to deal with underwater enemies in this game. Like piranhas and sharks and shit like that. I know in, uh, I think it was Tomb Raider 2, you actually got a harpoon gun. But I can't remember if you used it underwater. I think, I think you did. It's been so long since I played those old Tomb Raider games. 2 was probably my favorite out of all of them. I don't know, it's, it's hard to pick a favorite. I think the first three were all good for different reasons. Ooh, we've made it to the sarcophagus. Okay. How do I get down there without murdering myself? <laughs> Can I just daintily drop off here? 
I don't like that camera angle. Every time you try and drop off a ledge, it, it swivels around to show you that. Like, I want it to look like this. Like, from the back. Alright, I think we're good if we just drop. Yeah. Aha. I knew there was something else in here. <laughs> These rooms are rarely just filled with, uh, like, the main objective. There's almost always something else to pick up. Ancient bow part. What the fuck? So that's different from the compound bow. Uh huh. I guess I'll have to choose which one I want to use once I find all the parts for all of them. Now I gotta figure out <laughs> how to get out of here. I guess I just backtrack. I don't even think this was a tomb. It's. It's just a cave that had a really nice pickup in it. I don't know, like, if, does this register as anything? Crypt treasures? I, I haven't even seen any pop-up or information about that, but it says one out of two. I'm going to have to watch my video back and see if that, if that said one out of two before I got this. <laughs> so I'm not even sure. So there's tombs, and then there's crypts. Tombs seem a little bit more fleshed out, but crypts are like light tombs, and they still have pretty decent rewards in them, apparently. And it seems like you kind of don't even really know when you're in one. You just kind of end up in one. Because <laughs> you're exploring. I like to explore. I feel like I've already explored the fuck out of this area, and I, there's still so much. Look at all that shit. One more tomb. Only two out of five missions completed. One out of four challenges. There's nine more strong boxes in this area. And I guess a lot of this stuff is on my map. Also, we haven't really seen all of this place yet. Because I think all of this land counts as this Soviet installation area. So, yeah, we've got to make our way up there. Okay. Well, I think I'm done dicking around for now. I am going to head for the next main objective. Because that's what I feel like doing. Although, if I see a campfire along the way, I will stop and, uh... See if I can upgrade anything. Maybe change my outfit to something nice, I don't know. I don't want to run around with full animal skins. I want to be able to pick stuff up and keep using things and just upgrade as much as I can. You guys know how it goes. Alright, a little shortcut there. <laughs> Let's try to keep an eye out for enemies too, because I don't know... Which areas around here are hostile areas, and which ones aren't? I don't really see anybody up here. Ooh, I should probably check up in that... that tower right there. Question is... Can I jump to that ladder from here? Nice! Yeah! Hello, things to collect. I am already full on a lot of it. <laughs> okay, well that was probably worth the trip. While I'm up here, let's just take a gander around. We could rope slide back down there. I don't think I have what I need yet to take care of these uh, Soviet flags. Oh, I hate that camera angle. Sorry, I'm gonna bitch about that every time it happens. It almost makes me, like, dizzy. Like, not really, because it doesn't really happen to me. But it, like, disorients me, you know? Combat knife is required to cut the rope. You're telling me she's a master survivalist. Like, a hardcore 
super prepared explorer, and she doesn't have a fucking combat knife. She doesn't even have a regular ass knife, so anything you could use to cut a rope. That just doesn't seem right to me.